Hey everybody, Gary with Basecamp Trading. Let's take a look at some opportunities we had in crude oil futures today. Crude, up until recently, has been kind of choppy and hasn't had a lot of uh, price movement range in each day. But here recently, the volatility is picking up in crude and we are getting some really nice price movement range. And with price movement range comes opportunities. Um, this was crude this morning. You can see coming into the U.S. session, we left this big bottoming tail and set up this uh, strong reversal doji bottoming tail. The body of this bar wasn't all buying, but it was close. Um, then we triggered that to the upside, but then we didn't get any follow through. We left a topping tail, pulled back down to the 200, opened up. Push back above 200 again, another big topping tail closed under the 200. One more time, tested the 200 topping tail, and then we ended up breaking the other way. One more time above the 200, then the entire body of this bar was all selling. This was a very bearish bar, breaking under support, causing 5 and 13 to cross to the downside, and crude got really bearish. The fast slow line crossed to the downside, Big turnaround right here, but crude was showing a reluctance to go higher. We kept leaving these topping tails, couldn't stay above the 200 EMA and ended up breaking back the other way. Made a nice push down on a breakout, went into the crude oil inventory, you know, consolidated it going into it. And then the kind of crazy back and forth action after the report is released, set up a bear flag, triggered it to the downside and crude made another pretty decent push lower, but then it turned around and it was actually a bullish EIA report in crude and apparently took a while for the traders to digest that. But then we ended up leaving a really bullish bar. This was a bottoming tail. The entire body of this bar was all buying, followed up by another really strong bullish bar, little tiny bottoming tail and another huge Push to the upside. The entire body of this bar was all buying, closed above all the resistance lines, and then crude went higher into the afternoon. And then we had some opportunities. First one came off of our Renko chart, and this was actually prior to uh, the inventory report. This is where crude had pushed up, led that big bottoming tail. And then kept pushing up against the 200, but just couldn't stay and went into consolidation here. You see, we put our channel line in at this significant pivot high at 50, or I'm sorry, 60.04, and this significant pivot low at um, 59.59. And then crude kind of chopped sideways in there. You can see, we were pivoting inside those more significant pivots. Right in here is where the old ghost pit opened and crude made a pretty strong push to the downside, broke out of our channel to the downside. Initial breakout actually took just a little bit of heat. Not bad, but you can see four or five ticks there on the pullback. See that wick right there? That's price pulling back. And then crude made a nice run to the downside, had the opportunity to grab up to $600 per contract. You're probably locked in at least $500, $400 or $500 per contract on this push down. Again, depends on how you were trading that and how you like to take profits. But again, potential to grab at least $500 as low as $600. It just depends on, uh, again, how you take profits. And then crude kind of went sideways leading into the report little bearish lean you even had a uh, wick out of the cloud right there for another little push lower but typically don't trade that last hour going into the eia report and then of course here's where the report released and price always gets real jumpy in the report and then this is where we started to get the turnaround in crude back the other way and really, the better opportunity came off the five-minute chart. So this was where we had the initial push down 
that we tra we broke out of consolidation, made this initial push down. Then we kind of went sideways into the report, had a little crazy price action after the report was released. And then you had a reversal doji right here, triggered to the downside. Five and 18 were already crossed to the downside. And you had an opportunity to catch a push down there. If you missed that, you set up the bear flag and had another opportunity to catch a move lower. And Again, if you missed the reversal doji, that bear flag triggered underneath uh, 58.52 and the low ended up being down there at 58.12. So you had a chance to grab, you know, a few hundred dollars off of the bear flag as well. And then this wasn't actually a high low reversal bar or low high reversal bar. This was a reversal doji. This bar was one tick off the low. But you see, this was a really bullish bar. And this is where that 30 minute reversal bar was forming. Left the bottoming tail, entire body was buying another really strong bullish bar. Closed back above the 5 and the 18. And right here, you set up a bull flag potential right here. And that bull flag, you could have taken that bull flag, got triggered in above 58.55. And you had a nice run up there. If you were just trailing each individual five minute bar, you wouldn't have got stopped out till you broke the bottom of that bar at uh, 59.36. So that was a nice strong move back the other way. Again, the bull flag triggered at uh, 58.55. Could have run that up for at least 80 ticks, 70, 80 ticks. So you had a possibility of grabbing six, seven hundred dollars, as much as eight hundred dollars. Again, just depending on how you're trailing your stops and how you're taking profits. Consolidate a little bit, set up another bull flag that triggered, and then got that final push into the pit close. So definitely some nice opportunities uh, trading crude today.